started right away at all those cool things. Why did you guys decide to have kids? So you guys were together from 2008 to 2018 or 17. Yeah. And then who, who and, and <laughs> with Haley and I, we knew we were never going to have kids. And then one day she's like, hey, I want one. I'm like, all right, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. How, how, how did it happen be, with you guys? That would be me, Savon. From the moment that I laid eyes on Brendan through a computer screen, not in person, the moment I saw him, I thought, I need to have a baby with that man immediately, <laughs> immediately. So, are fact, you serious? Immediately. There was no doubt in my mind. I, I didn't want kids before that. But the second that I saw him, it was game over for me. And I was as determined as a person could be that I was going to have a baby with that man. But um, why did you wait 10 day, years? Why did you wait 10 years into the relationship before you had your first Brennan kid? Because Brennan is fucking stubborn. I would have had babies immediately. I mean, we could have had babies. There wasn't anything that we were doing not to try to have babies. <laughs> I wasn't proactively going for yeah, it. Yeah, but Brennan, we also were doing a lot of irresponsible things over the years that probably wouldn't have been best to bring a baby into. So it was actually kind of better that, uh, you know, he, we kind of got some of those bad habits out of our life before we had kids. Yeah, so we started sure. late, but, you know, it, it was... A, I think that like, you know, part of me like wishes I was a younger father, uh, but part of me is glad because there's good and bad to being, you know, both for sure. I think just the way that our lives worked out, this was definitely for the best. Um, yeah. It, it's funny you say that. So I, I, w I was the guy who would go to the beach and in, um, you know, with a case of beer and play Frisbee from the 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And nice. I thought I was going to do that with my kid. The truth is, is I can't play frisbee for an hour straight at forty-eight. Like my like right. just the next day I'll oh, pay. You're forty-eight now. I thought yeah. you were. I thought you were closer to my age. Well, you actually you are close to my age, but I thought you were like forty or whatever. So, so we'll look at. See the beard. Oh yeah. I just pee. So, I'm the same way. I just shaved it all off. <laughs> so, um, but on the other hand, I probably if I was thirty-four. Even if I could spend that time with my kid, I wouldn't have spent that time with my kid because I had um, my own ambitions. Now, right. really, all my ambitions are around um, just being a better parent. I don't know. I, I feel the I, same way. And I don't I'm think I would have done that at that. 30. I don't think I would have done that at 34. So it's worth kind of the trade off, I, th I think. Yeah, we, we got to do a lot of things that we wouldn't have been able to do with kids. And we also had a lot of time together as a couple. We were together for, I mean, how long? Eight years before I even got pregnant. And so we got to go through a lot of ups and downs that, you know, if we had kids, maybe would have stayed together before kids. But we, we kind of taught us to stay together because we wanted to be together as a couple. So it really made us a lot stronger without having the kids as a crutch or, you know, as a detriment to our relationship. No having doubt. to figure out kids. And I'm like, I'm much less selfish now. Like, you're right. Like, in my 30s, you know, everything from cross.